Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn from Jessica Lynn Original Studios, and today I thought, you know what, let's do a little bit of paper crafting. Now, my daughters absolutely love the Disney princesses, and I found this frame at the Dollar Tree. Now, number one, it's a really good frame for like um, their school. Like if you are looking to put together, like let's say they go on a, a field trip again, hopefully, fingers crossed, right? Um, the last field trip my kids went on was to the zoo. So let's say we have the zoo field trip, right? You could put a bunch of those pictures in there, put it in the Dollar Tree frame, print out those pictures. I mean, what a great memory for them. Now, I'm not gonna use everything that came with it, so all this fun stuff here. Um, I'm actually gonna make a background, and then what I'm gonna do is I am going to, I have this Disney princess paper. And what I'm gonna do is cut out three across, three down, fill it all the way in with different pictures of Disney princesses. Now I'm gonna be using my brother's scan and cut, and what I like about it is that I can go in, scan in, for example, like the paper and decide where I'm going to be cutting. You know, like I can pick out, you know, Belle's face or Tinkerbell or whatever the case may be. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just make sure that the paper matches the full size of the frame. Um, I use 12 by 12, but it looks like it's just a 16th of an inch smaller all the way around. I don't want it to buckle. So I just want to make sure we clean that all up. Then what we're gonna do, let me just get that paper. There we go, that's what we're gonna be building on, right? Just this white background. And let me just go ahead, get these out of the way. Do, do, do. Cardboard. Don't wanna lose any of the pieces, move them out of the way. Again, it, it, when you buy them from the Dollar Tree, the frames, they're glass. Now this Disney pack of paper, I actually got it at Joann's. Um, watch their clearance about now. They seem to clearance out a lot of um, character paper around January, February. Not really sure why, I don't know, but they, they do. And I ended up getting this huge pack of like 500 sheets of princess, character, Dis all Disney. And it cost me eight bucks. And normally I think it was like a $24 pack. You know, obviously they always put it on sale, but... So my first example here is that I already have a pattern saved into my brother's scan and cut and it is a Mickey head. So I'm going to put one of those on the page. Now you can see down in the bottom there, you can see Tinkerbell. Now you can see I'm going to adjust the Mickey's head size and I'm always going to make them the same size. So one and a half, okay, one and a half by 1.8. And now what I'm going to do is I line it up and we're just going to do a test cut just to make sure it's the right size because I don't want to cut into the princess paper and then be stuck with it, right? So I have to make some adjustments. So I will adjust it, I believe, just a little bit larger than this because this seems just a little too small at one and a half. So it's always easier for me to go in and adjust these rather than do it the other direction. So. Let's go back and edit the size. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I highly encourage, depending on what size you're working with, you know, go in and make a couple of sample cuts on paper that you're not gonna use because that will help you a lot. Um, think about, um, I compare a lot of things to sewing, but like, for example, when you sew, You'll usually a lot of like theater companies will actually build the costumes in what they call muslin. And then we'll take that muslin, cut out the pattern, sew it together, fit it on the models or the actors. And then if everything looks good, then we'll adjust the pattern pieces, double check it, make sure all the measurements match. And then we'll cut it out of real fabric because a lot of times the um, director or the costume designer will only have a certain budget with a very small allotment for errors. So way worth it to take the time to do this now rather than doing it later. So we are just going to up it, I think, just a little bigger because I want to do three by three. So I think this is going to work. Yeah, that'll that'll look pretty cool. Now, I have seen people where they've done this with like paint chips uh, at the hardware store. 
So you could do that, maybe just go and get 12 different colors, like rainbow colors, or if you're having a little girl, get 12 shades of pink, or get three, three, and three of like a dark pink, a medium pink, and a light pink, and you could gradate them. You could do rainbow, you could do the characters like I did. There's a lot of options here, and I chose Mickey heads, or Mickey head shapes, but you could cut out any shape you wanted. You know, so if your kids like Marvel characters, maybe you go find the outline of each character and you find 12 of those and that's what you cut out. It's just a solid color of each of the outlines. Or maybe your kid loves a specific, maybe they love minions, like that would be really fun, right? Cut out 12 minion shapes and then make 12 of your own original ones for them. Again, just fun ideas. So the cool thing about the Brother Scan and Cut is, I don't know if you saw it, but I was able to actually scan in the paper so I could see where I wanted to put the shape. Now watch how cool this is. It went and found Tinkerbell for me and boom, there she is right dead center of that shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time now just cutting out some of these papers. I'm going to show you how the Brother Scan and Cut does that. Um, it is one of my favorite tools. There is a link down below if you just want to take a look at it. A lot of people say it's a pretty pricey investment, but I mean, I'll be very honest, the number of things that I own without die cuts, it has already, you know, well paid for itself. When you consider that die cuts cost anywhere between 20 to 30 bucks. Um, you know, I, if you watch any of my videos, you'll see that I use it all the time. So um, I think it's really worth the money for it. So, all right, so let's go ahead and get these cut out and then we'll move on to the next step.
So now that we've got them all cut, we're going to go ahead and line them up. And I really tried to vary the colors so that there wasn't all white ones in one area or because a lot of the princess paper was very obviously white and pink. So I tried to vary them up a little bit. Um, but these look so cute. And look how simplistic. Again, I just did this to show you, you know, how I did it. But think about all the characters and the shadows and the outlines that you could do. That would be so much fun. I mean, this would even be cool to do for like a, like a family. Like, you know how Disney does the profile pictures? That would be really cool. Like if you did your whole family. Now, the big thing you want to do is just make sure that when you put the Mickeys on, that you do it in a perfect line. So take your time to do that before you glue them on. And um, honestly, you'll be much happier if you do. <laughs> um, because you just don't want them crooked. That will not look good. Um, for me, I'm just going to use this adhesive tape. Now, I will tell you that I have, um, if you haven't watched my videos before, well, f first off, welcome. Um, if you have watched my videos before, you know that I bought entirely too many rolls of that many, many years ago from the boss who encouraged me to start my own company, and I am still using those to this day. Um, but while we're just gluing these on, I just want to say thank you for watching and, and being a member here. Um, I really appreciate it. You know, if you are at this point, I'll just say, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. There's no cost to do so. Um, subscribing is free. Uh, basically what happens is it will just send you an, a message telling you that I uploaded a new video. Um, although we do have on our channel a way that if you want to support our channel, um, which I would appreciate. I mean that you don't have to, um, but you know, if you choose to, um, we do have a couple options we have where you can just be a friend of the channel and we do shout outs for you. Um, there also is if you own a small business and you want us to shout out your small business, um, you can do a sponsorship. And if you head out to like right down below, you'll see the word that says join. If you click on that, you can find out more information about it if, you, if you'd like to do that. And then we'll, you know, help you advertise your company as well. So we're going to go ahead and get all of these on. And I think that as far as color wise, I think these are looking so good. I am so happy with it. I think um, my kids are going to love it because it's not nor it's not a normal. Again, you know, we talk about this idea of what is normal art. You know, does it have to be a big picture of Rapunzel? Well, no, it could be this creative artsy thing. I mean, and here's the cool part. If you don't have a brother scan and cut, maybe you make a cardboard using a cereal box template of this shape. OK, you get a bunch of paper, construction paper, have your kids trace it out and cut it out. Have them make their own version of this. Um, it's a great starter project for kids. You know, again, mine, I show you, you know, how to use the Brother Scan and Cut, some, a little more, you know, in detailed things, but that's the fun part. Like, it's just supposed to be an idea and a guideline. It's not something you have to do. And that's what I love about it. Uh, the one thing I will tell you is make sure you love your layout, because obviously you can see that I had to rip that one little Mickey head off and move it. But I'm super happy with where they are. I think this looks so good. She just needs to be shifted just a little. There we go. Now, once you've got it all together, super easy. Flip it over. Now, if your kid helped you with this or you made this for them, you might want to put on there, you know, to, you know, whatever your child's name is. Love mom, love dad, love aunt, whomever, love whatever. Okay. Because they are going to love knowing that you did something special for them or or maybe it's something they did but they did it with you so maybe you both sign the bottom and put a date on there so that you know when they're older and they're like mom change out my room decor you know you can look back at it and go oh look at what we did together honey isn't that you know sentimental right well I hope that I inspired you you know again that's really the point of the reason that I do this. It's why I love doing this. I love being able to hopefully inspire and help you get creative. Uh, my name is Jessica Lynn. I am the owner and artist of Jessica Lynn Original and JessicaLynnOriginal.com. And I just want to take a moment and say thank you. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, I'll thank you for subscribing, <laughs> right? So just click that subscribe button down below because we'd love to see you back. Again, costs nothing. All it does is send you notifications. Don't forget to like our video and we'll see you again tomorrow. Take care, everybody.